so the other thing. I love your signature parts being named the Lost Dutchman, and I'm wondering if you can tell us what is the Lost Dutchman, you know, briefly, but like how did what sparked your interest in it and what is it for people who don't know? Um yeah, it's like a whole I think this was like, you know, going to art school and knowing marketing a little bit like I did at the time. Um, yeah. Comes all full circle, but you know, I had a whole idea for what my signature bike would have been called you know like originally my idea was like something like i wanted to like rip off an old mongoose logo and call it badger you know like uh, that, that I seems see that. like it yeah. would work right but when i got into it i was like i wanted to give arizona love you know like i love arizona so the superstition mountains are yeah. you know not right next to where i grew up i technically grew up on the mcdowell's but i spent a lot of time in superstitions like we go on hikes beautiful mountains, go fishing man. and yeah that's where four peaks is no no, Superstitions is like just East Mesa. It's that yeah. big, crazy red mountain. But Four Peaks is that general direction? Yeah. Okay. Four Peaks is is, is a little bit northeast of there, okay. behind it. Fuck so it. Superstitions. Yep, Superstitions. Carry but on. there is a ghost story that goes along with the Superstitions that there is a bunch of gold within the mountains. The first person that went to find it was Dutch. He found it. He's the one that like wrote down in records that there was all of this gold, like millions of dollars in gold, basically. But he didn't make it out of the mountains. And then subsequently, everybody that went back to try to find it never made it out of the mountains. Whoa. So, you know, superstition. There's superstition behind going in there. Yeah. If you go to that zone, there's a lot of things called the Lost Dutchman because that story is from him. That, yeah. And basically, like, he is protecting the gold mine. He's like, ah. it's mine, so you're not getting out of here. That's dope. You know, so that was the nod to that. That's why my first bike was copper because Arizona so is known for copper mining. Yeah. So all of that was kind of encompassing into that. Like the graphics were like, you know, Western style. Yeah. Like, you know, the the head tube. And I drew all of the graphics. I was going to ask that. Did you font, draw you know? that? Yeah. Like, yeah, I drew the head tube badge. Like the cactus little dude on there was like a funny little clip art that I found that was pretty cool. Hell yeah. Uh, but yeah, but all of that was all Arizona theme. You I know? love like, that. I would put the Last Dutchman art on this wall, dude. It's fire. Let's, let's, let's send let's you get the you. font. I think it's just on like dafont.com or something. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, but that was that was a trip. Like just even being like when they're like, "Do you want to have a frame?" I was like, "Are you fucking serious?" Like, yeah, <laughs> you kidding me? <laughs> Crazy. Of course. Yeah. Yeah, I still have the first one in my basement. Nice. Keep that shit. Yeah. I wonder if I can get my hands on a Lost Dutchman frame anywhere on the internet. Yeah, I'm the old man that's like wishing i kept all that old shit right. now it's all sentimental and then it's funny because i just stopped riding a dutchman because i i did this rabbit hole last year and i was like does anybody have one like i i want like i don't have one that i can ride you know yeah. like i'd like to ride one again and my old roommate jess was like you left one of your bikes when you moved like i have it you want me to just send it to you I'm like, are you fucking serious yeah. hell yeah sent me that like an, a brand new mexican blanket odyssey junior seat like Sick. crispy Damn. you know and i was like holy shit so i rode it for like a year and fuck yeah it started getting beat up so i was like i should probably retire this thing <laughs> <laughs> reached the end of the video hopefully you enjoyed that clip if you want to support me and the podcast just subscribe and share the show with your friends the full episode is in the description so if you haven't go check that out it's also available on spotify and apple podcasts and wherever you listen to podcasts and uh the goal is just to grow so if you could share the show with your bmx homies that'd be dope anybody that you know that is a bmx nerd and would enjoy this podcast do me that favor and we'll keep all these clips coming and, and one episode every week so i'll see you in the next one thank you